this jar of plastic. I brought it with me. Can you see what is in there? Do you recognize something? I hear the straw everywhere. We all see the straw. There's, of course, also this uh, lollipop wrapper, a candy bar, and a big orange nylon rope, amongst many plastic bags. This jar of plastic comes from a river, and it used to be part of one of the major problems of our world today, plastic pollution. Each year, 8 billion kilos of plastic ends up in our oceans. This equals one full garbage truck per minute. And this plastic harms all life depending on our oceans, including ourselves. But what few people know is that two-thirds of this plastic comes from our rivers. And that's when we decided we had to do something. We were sailors, we are sailors, and we encountered a lot of plastic on the water. And we thought, this plastic is still so close to home, can we reach it before it reaches our oceans? I'm Francis Soot, and I'm one of the founders of the Great Bubble Barrier. Uh, and we can have found a way to block plastic in rivers using bubbles. This jar comes from our last pilot in the River Isol. So what is it? The Great Bubble Barrier is actually a barrier of bubbles. You place a tube on the bottom of a river with holes in it. You pump air through it, and you get a curtain of bubbles. This, these bubbles bring plastic to the surface, where it's also blocked. So if you place this bubble barrier diagonally in the water flow, the natural current will guide the waste to the side of the river, where we can collect and remove it. So this way, it doesn't harm uh, ship traffic, lets ship traffic pass, it doesn't hinder fish, but it still collects plastic over the full width and depth of a river. We piloted this concept uh, in the lab, but also in the river ISOL with a 200 meter bubble barrier. And we, much to our surprise as well, we uh, got very good results. We collected 86% of our test material, and com combined with the lab results, we now know that the bubble barrier continuously collects plastic ranging from three millimeters up to one meter. So now we are ready to uh, get our dream into the world. And our dream is to have global impact and combat plastic pollution in rivers worldwide. We want to start in the delta of Europe, the Netherlands. And we already have a few bubble barriers that will be placed next year. But of course, we want to expand this dream and want to get to work inside of Europe. But more importantly, our roadmap is onto Southeast Asia, because that is where the majority of plastic pollution takes place. And we need your help. Uh, we have some funding, but we need to get these, plas these bubble barriers in our rivers. And I want that I can... I, my dream is to stand here next year and have this jar full of Amsterdam plastic, river plastic, and those jars filled with Nijmegen plastic from the Waal, and that one with the Leidse Rhein. So my question to you is, can you help us make this dream become reality? Thank you very much.